Australia's pursuit of a combat drone from General Atomics has taken a dynamic turn, with significant development spotlighted at the Avalon Australian International Air Show 2025, held from March 25th to March 30th at Avalon Airport in Victoria. This initiative builds on a complex history that began with Project AR-7003, a 1.3 billion Australian dollars, or 976 million USD, plan to acquire up to 12 MQ-9B Sky Guardian drones, approved by the US State Department in 2021. That deal, intended to bolster the Australian Defence Force with advanced unmanned aerial systems, was shelved in 2022 to redirect funds towards cyber capabilities under Project Red Spice. Undeterred, General Atomics re-entered the fray at Avalon 2025, unveiling plans for a new combat drone tailored specifically to Australian requirements, with a first flight promised before August 2025. This shift underscores both the strategic importance of UAS to Australia's defence posture and General Atomic's determination to secure a foothold in this market, despite earlier setbacks. The announcement reflects a broader trend in Australian defence policy, where agility and innovation are increasingly prized to address evolving threats in a volatile Indo-Pacific landscape. The procurement journey reflects a blend of ambition and adaptation. The original MQ-9B package was comprehensive, featuring 12 drones equipped with Honeywell engines, ground control stations, and a potent mix of sensors and weapons from Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, and Leonardo. Its cancellation in 2022 marked a strategic pivot, but the announcement of a new drone at Avalon 2025 suggests a rapid reorientation. While specific details, such as cost, quantity, and contract status, remain under wraps as of March 2025, the project appears to leverage General Atomic's existing platforms, potentially drawing from the XQ-67A, a versatile design tied to the U.S. Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program. This bespoke approach aims to meet ADF needs more precisely than the off-the-shelf MQ-9B, though it faces hurdles. No formal requirement or funding has been declared, and Australia's defence budget is already strained by high-profile commitments like AUKUS submarines and HIMARS rocket systems. Nevertheless, the promise of a flight by mid-2025 hints at an accelerated timeline, possibly buoyed by lessons from past procurements and industry pressure to deliver. The ADF's history of integrating smaller UAS, like the Black Hornet nanodrones used by Special Forces, suggests a growing comfort with unmanned systems, which could smooth the path for this larger scale acquisition. Delivery timelines for this new combat drone are speculative, but ambitious. The MQ-9B's unrealized schedule aimed for operational readiness in the mid-2020s, a target derailed by its cancellation. With the new drone's first flight slated before August 2025, Delivery could commence between late 2025 and 2027, assuming swift testing, production, and ADF acceptance. This aligns with Australia's broader push for rapid capability acquisition, as evidenced by recent deals for Corvo X and Vector drones set for delivery in 2025. The ADF's urgency reflects a strategic imperative to close capability gaps, a concern amplified by a 2024 audit highlighting 38 years of delays across major defense projects. If successful, this timeline would position the drone as a timely addition to Australia's arsenal, enhancing its readiness for emerging regional challenges. The process could benefit from General Atomic's proven production capacity, honed through decades of supplying Reapers and Predators globally, though adapting to Australia-specific modifications might introduce unforeseen delays. The role of this General Atomics combat drone is poised to be multifaceted, addressing Australia's strategic priorities in the Indo-Pacific. Like the MQ-9B, it will likely excel in intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and precision strikes across land and maritime domains. Tailored to ADF specifications, it could integrate seamlessly with manned platforms like the F-35A Lightning II or Apache helicopters, amplifying long-range strike and situational awareness. 
This versatility supports Australia's national defence strategy, which emphasises deterrence and power projection amid rising tensions, particularly with China. The drone's design may also prioritise endurance and adaptability, enabling persistent monitoring of vast maritime zones or targeted strikes in contested environments, thus enhancing the ADF's multi-domain operational reach. Its potential to carry advanced munitions such as Hellfire missiles or laser-guided bombs would give Australia a flexible tool for both defensive and offensive operations, complementing the long-range punch of systems like HIMARS. Deployment plans, though not yet detailed, can be inferred from strategic needs and past UAS concepts. The MQ-9B was envisioned for ISR and strike missions from key bases like Royal Australian Air Force Edinburgh or Tyndall, with potential for forward deployment in contested areas like the South China Sea or Australia's northern approaches. The new drone could follow suit, offering flexible basing options, possibly even dirt strip operations, a capability the US Air Force tested with the MQ-9B in 2024. Its integration into AUKUS frameworks could see it supporting joint missions with US and UK forces, enhancing interoperability and collective deterrence. Maritime surveillance and strike roles seem probable, given Australia's focus on securing sea lanes and countering regional threats, though its exact footprint will depend on numbers procured and operational priorities set by the ADF. The drone's ability to operate in tandem with Australia's domestically developed Ghost Bat, a loyal wingman UAS, could create a layered unmanned capability, multiplying its battlefield impact. The impact of this deal ripples across Australia and the Indo-Pacific. For Australia, the drone promises affordable combat mass, reducing reliance on costly manned platforms and bolstering deterrence. It could spur local industry growth if maintenance or production is localized, echoing the MQ-9B's Team Sky Guardian Australia model, though the 2022 cancellation dimmed such prospects temporarily. The involvement of Australian firms in subsystems or support roles could revive these ambitions, aligning with government goals to build sovereign defence manufacturing capacity. Strategically, it deepens AUKUS ties, aligning ADF capabilities with US systems and enhancing joint operational potential. Regionally, the drone's long-range reach could reshape power dynamics, signaling Australia's resolve to counter China's assertiveness. This may strain relations with Beijing, which often frames such moves as escalatory, while reassuring allies like Japan and the US. Its deployment could tip deterrent scales in flashpoints like the South China Sea, though its full effect hinges on scale and synergy with assets like HIMARS and GhostBat. Beyond immediate military implications, the deal carries broader significance. It reflects Australia's shift toward a more assertive defense posture, driven by the 2023 Defense Strategic Review's call for a focused force capable of rapid response. The drone's development could also foster technological exchange with General Atomics, potentially benefiting Australia's aerospace sector and positioning it as a regional hub for UAS innovation. However, challenges loom large. Securing funding amidst competing priorities, managing public and political scrutiny over defense spending, and ensuring the drone's capabilities match the ADF's evolving operational doctrine. Success could elevate Australia's standing as a middle power, but failure risks reinforcing perceptions of procurement inefficiency, a critique leveled after AR-7003's demise.